Now the question is why is China so afraid of India's moves on the high seas? Not just this particular exercise but in general because it poses a direct threat to Beijing's commercial interests. In the last decade, China has invested heavily in India's neighborhood, built ports to encircle India in its string of pearls plan. But India is not defenseless. It can choke China by cutting off access to a vital shipping route. Our next report tells you more. This is the Indian Ocean neighborhood. From the Strait of Hormuz between the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman to the Strait of Malacca near the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. More than 60% of the world's petroleum exports move from this shipping lane. And India can choke China right here. The Strait of Malacca has been a headache for China. In 2003, former Chinese President Hu Jintao had referred to it as the Malacca Dilemma. Because China needs it open. And India has the power to control it. The Malacca Strait is a shallow and narrow waterway. It is one of the most congested waterways in the world. Reports say around 75,000 ships pass through the strait. It is also the shortest seaway that links the Indian Ocean with the South China Sea. And whoever controls it can place a stranglehold on China's energy supplies. In 2016, 80% of China's oil supplies pass through the Malacca Straits. If India were to control it, China would lose access to a vital artery for global trade. Chinese ships will have to take a longer route. According to one estimate, China's shipping costs could increase by more than $64 million if the Strait of Malacca is closed for even a week. Another estimate says alternative routes could cost Beijing anywhere between $84 to $220 billion a year. A situation like this would add to China's problems. It already faces a territorial dispute in the South China Sea. The tensions are growing. Last week, the United States declared that most of China's claims to the South China Sea are illegal. So we will then go use the tools that we have available and we will support countries all across the world who recognize that China has violated their legal territorial claims as well, or maritime claims as well. New Delhi too has taken a stand. The Ministry of External Affairs issued a statement. India is questioning China's attempts to grab territory in the South China Sea. South China Sea is a part of global commons and India has an abiding interest in peace and stability in the region. We firmly stand for the freedom of navigation and overflight and unimpeded lawful commerce in these international waterways in accordance with international law, notably UNCLOS. China knows the Strait of Malacca is its Achilles heel. So it has been sending ships close to the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Last year, Chinese naval vessel Xinyang-1 was chased away by the Indian Navy. Allegedly, it was snooping near the islands. Now with drills in the area, New Delhi has sent a message to Beijing. It won't have its way on the high seas. Bureau report, Vion, World is One.